This is how fusion works in the sun. You start off with protons, right? nuclei of hydrogen. And if those protons can get close enough together, so the strong nuclear force, short range force, can lock them together, then one of those protons can turn into a neutron. And two particles called a positron and a neutrino come flying out. And that makes an isotope of hydrogen, something called deuterium. And about a seven thousandth of the hydrogen in your water is actually deuterium, so it's pretty common on Earth. That process takes a long, long time. In fact, for a single proton in the sun, then it would have to wait billions of years to get close enough to undergo that process. So that's the, the blockage in fusion in the sun, if you like. Once that's happened and the deuterium's formed, then everything goes very quickly. Uh, another proton can come and meet the deuterium, and that turns the deuterium into helium-3, and actually a photon, a particle of light, comes flying out. And then two of these helium-3s can stick together into helium-4 and a couple of protons come flying out. So that's the process by which energy is released in the sun. It's the process that allows the sun to shine.